Adrian Granados of Chicago, a kid nobody really wants to fight, but the whole lot he's fighting for. Adrian, there were 780 murders last year in Chicago, one of them in December right here in Garfield Park. Who was Ed Brown? Ed Brown, uh, he was uh, my little boxing brother. We spent countless days at tournaments, at fights, at shows. You spent countless hours beating on each other, too. Yes, yeah, definitely. Uh, always trying to get each other better. You were with him after he was shot. You were at his bedside. Describe that for me. One of the saddest times of my life, um, having to be with somebody that I've known since he was a kid. Um, he was still fighting too. He couldn't open his eyes, but he was trying to. He was like, his, his, his eyelids were flickering and uh, I got to hold his hand. They shot him in one of the hands. I got to hold him in one of the hands. And uh, he was, his, his finger was like tapping mine. Like, like, I hear you, I hear you. And I was crying so much, like, but I mean, you know, it's just, um, it was his time. He still fought it. It was his third time being shot, but he still almost pulled it off. And I mean, I miss that kid. So what do you tell yourself now that he hasn't? I got his voice in my head. Uh, whenever I want to do something good or bad, I got him like, like, what do you think about that big bro? Like, what do we need to do that? Or like, you, you need rest or you need to eat this. And, Cause that's the way I always was with him. Like he, I would, as soon as I would see him, I'm like, hey bro, stop being a knucklehead, you know? Like get, you got this fight coming up. You call him your brother. Yeah. And now you lost him. I believe it was a Sunday, I was at a barber shop. I remember getting cut up and they were just like, I heard about your boy and I'm like, yeah. And I'm like, I'm just trying to keep it together. I just called George, our coach. He told me, yeah, man, Ed, Ed, Ed is dying. Ed, Ed is dead. I'm like. And right there, I just broke down and cried and screamed to coach, I'm gonna win this fight. I'm gonna win this fight for him. Will it make it better if you win this fight for him? Hell yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> I miss him. He's supposed to be a part of this. Whatever I could to try to try to get him to be more positive, you know. I would always try to motivate him. I was always like, "Hey, bro, come hang out with me. Come, come, come to Cicero. Come to Berwyn, bro. It's safer over here." You thought you could have saved him. I thought I could help him. I never thought I could save him. I just thought I could help him. You just lost a guy like your brother. Yeah. You know that no one is really truly safe near the streets. Why are you still here? Um, this is my home. I've been at this gym ready for nine years, eight, nine years, and uh, you know, I, uh, same coaches, same coach that started me. What does this fight represent to you? Cubs just won. Uh, this is my own World Series, you know? It's taken me this long to finally get this big fight, but I got it now. You know, this is gonna be my coming out. I know a lot of people don't know who I am. Those who do know me, they know I come to fight. One of the guys who does know you is Adrian Broner. You were in his camp for Marcos Maidana. Yes, sir. What stands out to you about him? Just a, a great fighter. He's a great fighter. I mean, it's no fluke that he's a four division world champion. He ever hurt you? Yeah, definitely, definitely. We're human, you know, um, he, he, he can crack. He can crack. He, I remember he just had that explosive power where um, he had 16 ounce gloves and it felt like he was hitting me with bare fists. Like he just hit hard, you know? And I'm, you ever hurt him? Definitely, I know I did. He may not admit it, but I mean, yeah, I know I had him bloodied a couple of times. I know I had him backing up a couple of times. I, you know, I, you just know as a fighter when you crack somebody and they're like, oh, what was that, you know? What did you learn about the guy? Um, he's actually a good man. Like, uh, everybody has their own uh, personal opinions about him. He has his persona, the AB, about billions, always balling, but I met the actual dude, Adrian Broner. You know, he even, he even knew Ed Brown. And it was the first time he got shot. I was in camp with them. And I was like, I lost it out there. And I even talked with Adrian. He's like, you can't save people like that, Adrian. I'm like, man, but I know this guy, Adrian. Like, I'm always with him. Like, and he's like, bro, like, he knows Ed Brown and he knew what type of person he was. You said you need to become the first guy to knock out 
Adrian Broner. Is that how this ends? It has to, it has to. I feel like if it goes to the judges, I'm just, I mean, if he ends up making it to the end, I'm gonna lose, that's, that's in my head. You told me you have a voice in your head. It's Ed Brown's. Yep. And what's he been telling you? We gonna win. Thank you, man. Thank you, Mark. Good luck to you.